5 o'clock and I just put some makeup on because I'm getting ready to film like a sit down video But I can't like figure out my hair like I want to do something cute, but I feel like this doesn't look good I don't know what to do. You know when you're having like an awkward hair day and you just like touch your hair like 10 million times because you don't know what to do with it and everything looks like shit and you're like, oh my god. Then you get stressed out and then I start feeling sick. I'm like, I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I just really don't know what to do with it. Ugh, I want to do something different, but like my hair's kind of greasy, but it's kind of not. It's like in the awkward stage where it's like not really greasy, but it's like not fresh. But I was literally working all day and I just stopped editing and now I'm gonna go film a video. I think I want to film it outside, so I'm kind of waiting until like golden hour, so it's like really good lighting. This video is gonna be really exciting. I'm really excited to post this. It's probably gonna come honestly after this video, so stay tuned for that. I don't know why I haven't filmed this earlier, but I'm so excited to film this. This is gonna be a good one. So so watch out for it. I really want like one of those bandanas, like you know what I mean? Those cute hair bandanas. I really want one of those, and I'm definitely gonna go in for the summer, but I don't have one yet. I just don't know what to do with my hair. <clears throat> your touch, blood, your vision. Like the hair kind of looks cute from certain angles, but then like it really doesn't. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Oh, let's try something else. Maybe I'll just wear it down, like always. Whatever. <laughs> There's really nothing left. Are you freaking joking? Every time I want touch shampoo, there's not left. There's not Madison literally gulps it up like no tomorrow. This is another bottle, which is also empty. Mm, that is good. Two, two left. Oh, there's one here. Oh my god. Did she? Did she really finish this one too? Are you freaking joking me? Literally. Well, that's fun. I guess now my hair is going to be looking a little greasy, but that's fine. There's nothing I can really do about it at, that, at this point. Why are they still in the bathroom when they're empty? Someone tell me. Somebody tell me. Bye. I don't even know if they're in the garbage. Like, are they going to explode in the garbage? Anyways, my room is literally a pigsty again. Yes, again. Okay, don't make fun of me for it because it's like, it's a disease. Like, I'm not even joking you. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I do have a lot of donate stuff that just like needs to get out. Like I have this pile here and then all this like here is donate. But then I have like this shit here. Honestly, it's not as bad. Like this is probably only going to take me like 15 minutes to clean. It's not that bad. It's just like my, it just looks like a lot messier than it is I feel like. Because I haven't done laundry in like so long. Like too long. What I am planning on doing though is I really want to change this wall up. I get bored of things really fast and like I just want to change everything like constantly when I have new ideas. And this wall right here i definitely want to change it and make just make something more plain and more calming i think i want to do like a diy here i don't know what yet but i'll definitely include it in one of my vlogs or something but i really want to change that up take the pictures off and do a little fun thing there instead of all these pictures i'm kind of bored of them and i've only had them for like three four months now but it's time for them to go it just kind of looks too cluttered and it, i feel like it makes my room look a little messy not that my room is like really ever clean but i feel like it like adds to the mess because i don't know how to explain it but it just sometimes I just look at it and I'm like, why does it look so ugly? So I'm definitely gonna do something to change that. I don't know what yet though. We'll see. Stay tuned. Keep you guys updated. I literally cannot wait to go somewhere tropical, you guys. Like once COVID is done and once life is more back to normal, I'm definitely gonna be going somewhere for a long period of time. Maybe not like super long, but I, I need to get out. I've been craving like a hot destination. And when you go somewhere like that, it's like everything I do, everything I vlog is gonna be so interesting. Like sometimes I feel like my vlogs here aren't interesting and like aren't good enough because it's just like I'm here home all the time and it's like uninteresting sometimes the lighting is bad because it's raining and I just feel like once I go somewhere tropical constantly you're gonna have good lighting because it's gonna be sunny and golden and I'm gonna be tanned and oh I cannot explain to you how much i want to go i just want to get away and it would make for the best videos you guys travel vlogs oh my goodness that's like my dream job traveling and vlogging that would be literally amazing i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there soon and i know that i will anything you put your mind to you can do promise you that i just also can't wait for summer because the weather is gonna get so much better it's a kind of an awkward time where it's like there's a few sunny days but it's still really cold and it's not really there yet like today's the last sunny day and then we're gonna have like five days of rain i just want the sun and the warmth and beaches and it's kind of like sucks because we only get like two months of like real summer like two months of hot days and then it just goes back to like rain for the rest of the 10 months of the year it's like not really proportionate so that's why i crave like tropical like hot 
places so much is because I don't know I feel like I thrive in the heat I thrive in the hot weather I love it so much and also I feel like your environment does have a lot of impact on how you feel and your mental health and your mental state like even though I don't enjoy the rain all the time I try my best to keep that positive mindset even though I'm not somewhere tropical or whatever sometimes it is kind of like wow shit kind of sucks you know that it's raining all the time but yeah I just literally can't wait for the summer and the hot weather and for COVID to end I just want to get out well so does everyone else so I can't really complain because we're all in literally the same boat right now so I can't even complain because some people have it way worse so cooking in the kitchen guys this has been my go-to breakfast I've just been like obsessed with it basically eating it literally every single day okay so what I got cooking up here I need tongs there you go tongy babies okay oh so what I did here is I mixed um, eggs with spinach and then here I got a tortilla heating up and what I do is I make like I cut up goat cheese not goat cheese, sorry, feta cheese, like feta cheese. And I chop that up and then put it in with the egg and spinach mixture. And it tastes like, you know, like Starbucks has a, okay, I'm just obsessed with Starbucks at this point, but they have a spinach egg wrap and it has like feta cheese in it. And it tastes like exactly like that. So that was like my idea for the recreation. And I've literally been um, eating this every single day. It's so good. It's currently 1030 and I have a gym appointment at 12. I don't really feel like going today just because it's like super gloomy and bleh, like, I just feel like staying and hiding in my house today. But you know what? We're gonna go out and do it. We're just gonna get it done because I know I'm gonna feel so much better after I do it. And once I get there, it's not, it's like I'm gonna wanna do it. I know that. It's just like the process of getting out of the house and driving there, which is like the worst. But like once, what is this scene? But like once I'm there, I know like it's gonna be fine. So we're chilling. Gotta get that summer body ready. Okay, so I just filled this white tortilla with the egg mixture, and then now I'm just gonna get some feta cheese and chop that up. I try and stay away from dairy as much as possible, but I've been like so bad lately, and I've been like letting myself have cheese, which I shouldn't be, but I am. I need to do like a cheese cleanse. Like I'm gonna maybe start next week, like start not having dairy again, because that needs to happen, because dairy just doesn't go well with me, but I still eat it. And dairy is very unhealthy. That sounds little, like a dead ass cracker. A little crispy for a wrap. He literally was like, oh, Michaela, we should heat them up in the toaster oven. I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea because our toaster oven is whack and it cooks things like so fast. It's so bad. And he put that in and next thing you know, it turns into a damn like tortilla Crispy. shit. <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not gonna fold. Like, I'm like, how do you expect to make a wrap out of that? It's literally like a chip now, which is actually kind of good, but like not for a wrap. You guys, I was wearing my scrunchie yesterday, like my cheetah scrunchie, like one of my favorite scrunchies. And it fell out when I was taking a shit. And I didn't even realize. And then like I go to flush the toilet and then I see like, it looked really weird in the water because it like, it like soaked the water up. So it looked really weird. And I was like, what is that? Like, did I shit that out? And then I like realized that I don't have a scrunchie in my hair. Then I'm like, oh my God, my scrunchie just fell in and I just flushed it down because there was no way I was about to dig that out of the flushed toilet. flushed the scrunchie down the toilet. What was I supposed to do? Dig it out with my shit? That's disgusting. Wait, girl school poo? <laughs> Since when? That's <laughs> we, disgusting. We shit roses. That's what oh, we do. Sound like it. There's roses in the toilet, actually. If you're watching this, Dad, I'm sorry, because I know that flushing shit down the toilet isn't good for the septic tank, but it had to be done. I wasn't about to reach my hands in there and take my scrunchie out. Like, if I just went pee, it would have been maybe a different story. Still, then, I don't even know, but... Yep, so my scrunchie's in the septic tank currently mixed in with all the other shit in there. So it looks like I'm never getting that back, which is kind of sad. But it wasn't my fault. Like, it just slipped out of my hair when I was taking a shit. Like, how am I supposed to... Anyways, so this is what it looks like and then I'm just gonna wrap it up and it tastes so bomb Also my nails are so ratchet and you probably you guys probably noticed this like in the vlogs Maybe I mean I hope you don't but like you probably do and I just like don't take care of my nails I just don't it doesn't bother me really. It's only other people that really point it out and notice So I mean I definitely should do them because they're like really ratchet right now But I just suck at taking care of my nails so sorry if you've noticed them in the vlogs. Like I'm I'm sorry. You guys literally this 
scariest thing happened to me at the gym. So basically I was doing like my last set of hip thrusts and I was wearing a mask obviously and then I felt like couldn't breathe and I was like holy shit like what is happening so i like get up and then i feel so dizzy and like i literally couldn't breathe like i felt like i was just about to faint so i ripped off my mask i didn't care who was there i ripped it off and i like like i tried to get my breath back and then i finally got my breath back but like i felt so dizzy and it was just really scary because i literally felt like i was gonna faint like if i didn't rip my mask off in that moment i was gonna faint and once i like went outside and got fresh air it helped a lot but i had to like leave right away like i was there for an hour but it was it just happened like at the end of my workout that was so scary and it's probably that probably happened because my brain and my body wasn't getting enough oxygen because of my mask obviously was probably restricting my breathing and my body and brain definitely was not getting enough oxygen so it was like holy shit like you're you're gonna faint i was literally like holding myself and i'm like oh my god all these people are gonna watch me faint it was fine i caught it in time i guess and i caught my breath back but yeah masks are just it makes it so hard it's way harder to breathe especially when you're doing like intense workouts it's like cardio just makes it so that much harder to breathe that's why i wish i had my own gym so that i wouldn't have to wear a mask but yeah dude wearing masks is just really really difficult when exercising like i'm fine with wearing a mask like to the grocery store and like everywhere else like whatever but exercising it just really inhibits my breath and maybe there's something wrong with my lungs because i did just get a breathing test so we'll see when those results come back but maybe there is something wrong and that's why that happened but i guess we'll see i mean i hope not but yeah i just showered feel so much better now i feel less dizzy i'm just gonna go sit down and edit it's two o'clock so it only feels way later because usually i go to the gym like after work but i forgot to book an appointment last night so i had to kind of go whenever the appointments were left so yeah i'm just gonna go sit down chillax and edit i feel like i need to sit down right now because that was not good i don't want to be the first one to text I don't need a service in my head I just need you here with me instead 